Hi, this is Amy, but today I will be signing in as Harry Hornet because I want to get show you how to get started with your Google account. So I'm, I've opened up a new Chrome window here and Chrome is a browser that means a way to get to the internet so if you're not using Chrome and you're going to start using Google Apps no matter whether you're a part of Huntsville ISD or not I highly recommend to you that you download and install Google Chrome. So if you have a different browser and you'd like to download and install Google Chrome you can navigate to www.google dot com slash chrome so when you do this you'll get all of the information you need for how to download and install the chrome browser it works very well with google apps and is in fact the browser that you want to use so i'm going to go ahead and sign in to chrome this is a brand new installation of it and i'm going to sign in and like i told you today i'm going to be using harry hornet's account because i want it to be nice and blank and empty so that you can see how it will look to you so my email address is h h o r n e t at huntsville dash isd dot org and let me type my password or harry's password in this case and let's sign in. So as soon as we sign into Chrome, Chrome is going to start to synchronize all of our bookmarks and history and settings that we choose. Uh, this is really nice because when I go home, I can have all the same settings as I have at school. And if I change something at home, it shows up at school and vice versa. So I'm going to go into the Chrome Web Store right now and do something that a lot of users like to do first, and that's choose a theme for my account. Now, I like these themes by artist and by Google. I know that they're going to be nice looking and well done and all that so I'm gonna go ahead and choose this Google Science Fair theme right up here and I'll choose add and you'll see in a, in a second my Chrome will change you'll see a design up here at the top and when I go to my new tab which is right up here you'll see that theme showing down here on that page remember this was just completely blank before so let's go back into the Chrome Web Store again and let's install an extension. So extensions are little programs that run in the background all the time and help us operate. They help us do things that we need to do. This extension right up here is called AdBlock. I really love it because it blocks all of the ads that I would otherwise see on the internet. I want to show you before we go there. So if I go to YouTube, and by the way, this bar at the top of the Chrome browser is called the Omnibox. I don't have to open up a separate Google search engine. I don't have to um, then type my question in there. I can just type whatever I want to go to right here and hit enter and Google will find it for me. So here I am at YouTube and you can see there's a big ad right up here at the top. So now I'm going to close this tab and go back and install AdBlock. This is how I install it. I click Add to Chrome, Add, and now AdBlock is going to appear and start to run right up here. All right, now AdBlock is installed. Let's try that YouTube search again. And you'll see that the ad at the top is completely gone. This is really nice, and it works on all kinds of different websites. So now let's install a Chrome app. So I like to use Google products. I use them all day long every day. So I could install my Google products by searching Google right up here and seeing what I have to offer. So Google Calendar, that's probably useful. I'll add that. Um, and there it is. It shows up right on my new tab page. I could install Google Docs. Just scroll through and see what has high ratings that you think you might be interested in and go ahead and install those things. So let's look at some of the popular applications here. You can see this would be an easy way to get to YouTube. If that's a common source that I use to look for information, I might install it so I see it right there on my new tab page. And you'll probably find all kinds of cool stuff that I've never heard of before, and you'll be telling me that'll be great. So there are just some different applications installed. Of course, you can also look through the education section and see what you could use with students, what might work in your classroom. So we could install this equation editor. If I decide I don't want it later, that's no problem at all. All I have to do is go back here and right click it and remove from Chrome and it goes away. So I've got some applications installed. Let's look at what else we can do with our Chrome browser and our Google account. 
So let's say I'm here in my Chrome browser and I'd really like to check my email. Well, you could go into the Chrome Web Store and install Gmail so that you will see that right in your Chrome browser. That would be one way to get to it. Another way to get to it is from any browser anywhere. You can always just type gmail.com and you'll be able to log in. Of course, remember, Harry logged in to this browser as soon as he opened it, so it really was already there. Um, we have a question right up here at the top. Do we want to allow Huntsville ISD Mail to open all email links? Yes, we want to click Use Huntsville ISD Mail. That means when we come to a website that asks us to click to email someone, it's going to open up in our Huntsville ISD Google Mail program instead of trying to open Outlook on our computer, which we don't want. All right, so let's see how we can get more help with this account. First of all, we can always go to help.google.com, and there's tons of information here. It's for educators and consumer users, business users, anybody who uses Google. It's really easy to navigate, and you can always search right up here. But let's say we need help with something more specific, or we want to get it from someone we know. I want to teach you today how to go to a Google group. So let's pretend that we're back at our email account, or actually, let's go ahead and go back there and see how to navigate from Gmail. It's sort of our home base. When we're, when we're at our Gmail account, we'll see this black bar, which has a lot of different services that we can use through our Google account up here at the top. So this is how you can get some help with your account. You can navigate to google.huntsville-isd.org and let's find the Google Groups. So here they are, right down here. And let's go to Browse All. All right. So let's navigate to google.huntsville-isd.org and let's find the I Help link over on the left-hand side. So let's click here and see this Google group. We're automatically a part of it because we're logged in as Harry Hornet and you can see our email address right up here in the top left. And now let's join this group. Now we've got a question here. How do I want to read this group? Well, maybe I just want an abridged email, which is going to be a summary of the email activity per day. As for me, I want an email. I want each email sent to me as it arrives. If this gets overwhelming, I can always go back and change this later. So I am going to choose the default, link it to my profile, use the full name, and now I'll click join this group. Now let's say I need help with something and I just can't figure it out. I've tried everything, I've gone to Google Help, or it's right now, class is starting and I really need to know this right this second and I don't have time to find out another way. So let's ask our community of users how we can do what we need to do. So we'll click New Topic and we'll put, I need help with my Promethean board. And now let's type the message right down here. So let's say I can't get it to connect to my computer and can you give me any advice? And let's go ahead now and post this message to the group. So now here's our message. It's posted to the, to the group and anyone who wants to help is free to open up this message and reply to it. So let's post a reply. Let's say check the connections and try restarting the computer and we'll post and now Harry Hornet is going to have a reply in the group. Let's go back to the home page and see what it looks like. So here we are. Here's Harry's request for help and here's a response. If we'd like to give Harry another idea to try then we can click post reply right up here and give him another idea and hopefully when Harry gets a solution he'll post back and let us know that the problem is resolved. So this is a way that you can get help with your Google accounts or really with anything that we can help you with. If we can't help we're just going to email you back and say we don't know. So we'll try but there are a lot of other 
other people out there in the community besides your iTex and myself. So hopefully one of us will be able to help you. And hopefully you can help other people. That's what this group is about. It's not just about iTex and uh, instructional technology people or technology people helping you. It's really about users helping each other. So let's try to get that started. So hopefully today during this video you got started using Google Chrome with a few basic tips. There's so much more and you know a little bit more about how to navigate Google and you know how to get some help. Hope that's what happened today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.